Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video, it's your boy Kenex here for another tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to create blends with curves in Blender, so with no further ado, let's go to Blender. Alright guys, we are here in Blender and I hope you like the setup that I have created here with the cam uh, camera in this place, I hope that in that place doesn't uh, intersect with anything, so now I have here the default cube, alright, so the first thing that we're gonna do is going into edit, preference and activate here the extra objects, uh, add curve extra objects because we're gonna use curves for to, to create our uh, to create our plant. So first of all I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna hide this collection over here and right here I'm gonna just create a simple a simple vase just for the sake of this tutorial already created I'm gonna shade smooth in the vertex I'm gonna go into normals auto smooth and now we have a really cool uh, a really cool vase I'm gonna add here a bevel just to look more professional in here all right and I think it's looking pretty good, alright? So now that we have our vase created, let's go and create the parts of the plant. So first of all, I'm going to click Shift A, and in the curve panel, I'm going to add a circle. I'm going to bring this over here, and I'm going to add a path. So I'm going to rotate this in the Z-axis 90 degrees, okay guys? And bring this over here too. And now I'm going to use the circle to create mesh in the path. So I'm going to click in the path, go over here in the object data properties. And right here in geometry, I'm going to go in bevel object and select my busier circle. All right. Now, if I scale this down, the mesh will going to scale down too. So now we have a lot of control in uh, our mesh just with these simple steps so first of all let's go and scale this down a little bit something like that I think is looking pretty good let's go into edit mode and select some vertices so I'm gonna select these two vertices and bring this down something like that in the x-axis and right here I'm gonna scale this down too, something like that and now you can see that the shape that we have created in here is applying in uh, the mesh of our path all right so now that we have the mesh in uh, our path applied with the shape of our circle let's go into edit mode and in this in these vertices right here I'm gonna click alt s to scale this down alt s is the shortcut to scale uh, vertices all right guys so now I have this scaled down and now what I can do is bring this closest to my vase and rotate this minus 90 in the x-axis and bring this over here now I want to put this in the middle basically in the middle all right and now I'm gonna change the pivot point to uh, individual origins and just scale this in the x-axis in the uh, clicking shift Z to scale this only in the x-axis and only in the y-axis all right guys and you can see that now we have a really good looking part of our plant so now let's go into the uh, into the our front view and enter in edit modes and just change the shape of our plant just something like that I think is looking pretty good all right I'm gonna scale this down a little bit more all right, I think it's looking pretty good already. All right, so we what we need to do is going into edit mode and in the face right here, in these faces, uh, we want to put our 3D cursor in the middle of this face. So what we're gonna do is selecting the face and click Shift S and cursor to select it. Now we have the, our 3D cursor in the middle of the face, all right? So what we're going to do right now is going over here into the pivot points and change this to 3D cursor. So if I go into my part of the plant and shift D to duplicate it and rotate, this will rotate in the factor of the 3D cursor because it's our pivot point that we chose. So now it's super easy to do. So uh, let's just duplicate this a lot of times. Something like that I think is looking pretty good. All right. 
and select this all right now we have our simple uh plant almost created so now i'm gonna click in every single part of our plant shift d and scale this down all right i'm gonna scale this down e uh, using the pivot point that is our uh, 3d cursor all right and now that we have this scaled down let's go and rotate them a little bit something like that let me see nope a little bit uh, all right something like this i think is looking pretty good all right and now we have let me just bring this something like that all right and now you can see that we have created let me just activate here the light we have created a simple plant in just eight minutes so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you uh, learned something new today and if you learn something don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give a like and so if you like this content that i'm creating uh go subscribe give a like and that's it i hope you enjoyed and i see you in the next time bye guys